Liz, uh, the Australian Open, you mentioned it in the, uh, the uh, opener. Yes. You're a Djokovic fan. Oh, I am a huge Djokovic fan. And to watch him walk into the arena last night, to the roar of the crowd, I genuinely <clears> think, I have to tell myself, because it's the only way I can live with it, that that was Melbourne's sorry. Because we all know it was only a year ago they were baying for this man's blood. They booted him out of the country, I think, absolutely appallingly. We've got to keep in mind that somewhere in the fine print of this story was the fact that our Australian government had already started up their vaccine injury registration, their registration scheme. It had over 10,000 claims already. He was an elite athlete months later arriving on our shores. Of course, he had his visa. He couldn't have got here without it. He'd been invited here, all the rest of it. Our governments go through this embarrassing, oh, it's Victoria, oh, no, it's uh, the Australian Open, oh, no, it's the feds, it's the feds. <laughs> and here they are, cheering like nothing ever happened. Do you guys think that had booing not been ruled out of the equation, because we, we know that's a thing this, mm -hmm. this round, uh, do you think he would have been booed? I don't think he would have been booed. No, I think I. people were thrilled to have the world's best tennis player, unless you're a Nadal fan, <laughs> back on the court. Nah. And I also think Novak's um, uh, status grew because of this incident. Mm. I mean, it's very rare that you get someone who will exchange a trophy for principle. And, uh, I mean, he lost his number one ranking. He lost prize money. Uh, he was vilified um, by many quarters. And yet his response was gracious he stuck to his guns. And I think yeah, people, yeah, they probably forgave him, but they also said, you know what, we recognise whether we agreed with you or not. There was nothing to not, forgive. You're a man he of has conviction. to forgive them. It, it made him, for a man who is, you know, at the top of his game and probably the best in tennis, it made him something of an underdog, which I think for yeah. a lot of people who might not have liked him as a tennis player, you know, the joker, they didn't like him, I think it actually endeared a lot of people to him. Mm. And, and as for the question as to whether, you know, people would have booed him anyway, I don't think they would. And I think you're a bit harsh on Melbournians there because, of course, I was a Melbournian at the time and uh, I had no problem with him being in the country. But I think it's where we are now is very different to where we were a year ago. And it, it's almost like in Victoria, there was this kind of mass psychosis where we had all been abused so badly by the government that people thought everyone else had to be abused yeah. in the same manner. Yeah, but and and I think we've moved... What I know, I, I know, I know. But I think we've moved on from that now. People have realised that that was wrong. It was the wrong thing to do. We're past all of that. And thank I God so. we have Djokovic back. Let's hope he goes well in the tournament.